Match 21 sees France up against Peru. So France will start up like this. Loris in goal, Mendy, Dingy, Kashelny, Varane, Kante, Lamar, Pogba, Matudi, Mape and Griezmann up front. As for Peru, they will start like this. Galice, Adinsula, Corzo, Ramos, Hurtado, Flores, Yotun, Polo, Tapia, Carrillo and Barfan. So match number 21. France will kick us off. In the real world, this will take place on the 21st of June at the Central Stadium, and that is in Yekaterinburg, somewhere in Russia, not too sure. Um, France looking to get themselves back into this tournament after a, a pretty woeful 1-1 draw against Australia. As for Peru, they were on the back of a 1-0 loss to Denmark and France have got themselves in front within 30 seconds so game on game on indeed so that would put I know it's early very early but that goal by Griezmann Antoine Griezmann gets France in front and if the results were to finish as is that will put France on four points Peru on nil Denmark on three and Australia on Four points. It would really put a nice melting pot for the last game of these last games of this group, which is Group C. If you're unaware, the full list of teams in this group are France and Peru playing here right now, and of course, as mentioned earlier, Australia and Denmark. So, France with their noses in front, with pretty much the first attacking bit of possession of the match. Peru have it all to do. So a nice little bomb just knocked up there. Peru got it all to do. Can they get back in this match? Okay, now just a little bit. Oh, another snapshot by France makes the keeper save. Nice diving effort. Let's punt it out now. Peru need to find something. Yet to score you in this World Cup. And that is not going to help. Foul. Now we get a card. France will take this free kick. It's floated in there. Not very far though. Peru can maybe build something. No. France again with a nice little snapshot. Blocked by the defence. Now. Come on Peru. Let's have a look. Floated in there. Can they get on it? Peru's famous out export is who? It's Paddington Bear. Right. Right. Oh, no. I just thought I'd throw that anyway. Peru now. Trying to build something in there. A good bit of possession for them. Not done yet. Dances around, floating in the box. If they can get it down, turns and shoots. Have a go. It's in. Equaliser. Peru back in this. France are on the ropes. Just like Australia. I think it was the other way around. I think Australia took the lead. And then France equalised. But this time Peru back in this. And this will really li uh, mix it right up. Carrillo with the goal. That's Peru's first of the World Cup. And if the result was to finish like this... Australia will be in dreamland, but still uh, not in, not over the line. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Peru's hopes have been dashed already. Straight away, France take the lead. 2-1. Oh, my goodness. End-to-end -end stuff. Griezmann with a daily double. That's his second of the night. I'm not sure he got the other goal. I can't remember who scored for them in the Australia game. But it doesn't matter right now because Peru, again, have it all to do. Floated in there. If they scored once, they could score again, right? Right, come on. Dink it in there. Try to create some space. But France clean it up. If you're new to the channel or new to this simulation, just let you know that we've played two four-minute halves. If you like what you see, give the video a thumbs up. And if you like it a lot, might as well hit the subscribe button will be here for the remainder of the World Cup, do each and every one of the games, as well as the knockouts. And also Cast the Cat is doing her stuff. Floated in there, that shot's too weak, should be dealt with. Oh, well, putting it behind for a corner. Can Peru deliver from this corner? 95 style. Floated in there, headed in, keep it parries, turn and shoot, God! And that's pushed over, they'll get a go again. This time from the other side. 16-bit corner coming at ya dealt with by France 
keep it alive. Oh, nice. Important tackle there by Peru. They're in this. They're in this. I know they're, they're two behind. But I can see they've got pace in their side here. Keeping uh, keeping uh, France at bay a little bit. I know France have got the all-important second goal. If you hear any barking or, or little funky noises, that's the Vuvuzelas and the puppies uh, making some noise. Cheering on Peru. We all love a bit of Peru. As they try, here we go. Turn the shoots on. Have a go. Good effort. Keeper Loris down and saves it. As we crawl towards the end of the first half, it's been entertaining. Three goals. It's not over yet. Here we go. Turn. Have a shot. Oh, Loris down again. We've we've had our four minutes. We're into extra time. It's booted, and that's Shalot. France two, Peru one. So, Peru will get the second half underway. Now, if the results were to stand, Peru will be going home. That's right. Sad to say. But Denmark, France and Australia will have it all to do for the final games of this Peru. With all places up for grabs. You would fancy Australia to do it. I think they would just need a point against Peru and to, to, to secure qualification. I wouldn't say top for secure qualification and then Denmark against France to uh, see who who else goes through is there a mathematical possibility for France and Denmark to go through or possibly if Peru were to be Australia and Denmark to be France I think Peru fan getting a bit hasty in the background there trying to trying to cheer on Peru she knows that they're facing the axe if they can't find an equalizer can they do it can they do it for Luna come on Ooh, France with all that build up by Peru France get away with a nice cheeky shot but it's it's saved Peru need to dig in now really find it within themselves to try and get themselves back in the scene they've got one goal which was which was the hardest bit you know, open up the deadlock against a good team in France. Here they go. Floated forward. It's not good enough, though. It's not good enough. What can they do? Nothing. France looking for third. That was a bit timid. Dealt with. Time's running out, keeper. Get rid of it. Pumps it long. France, keep it alive. Not for long, no. Head it forward. Nice control. What's he going to do? Is he really trying to shoot from that distance? I don't think it's possible. Anyway, here they come again. Peru looking for that elusive fourth goal of the match. Their second of the tournament. Yes, Peru fans are getting nasty all over the place. As they could, they could see it. They could see themselves going out of the World Cup. Joining the likes of Portugal, already out. Iran, already out. This is Group C. It's very tight though, Group C. A goal for Peru would really, really... It would, it would be bonkers because it would keep all four sides in with all four a, a, a shot of, of qualifying. But France looking for the third. Well defended by Peru. Do they have it? Do they have it within themselves to find that second goal? Headed onwards. That's nice, but just not good enough. Last 30 seconds. So right now Peru staring at the feet. Ronaldo knows a good number for the airport, if you're wondering. Peru fans, come on, keep it alive. Yes, they do, just barely. Sets it up nicely, come on. Oh, that was a poor pass. But they have one more chance, possibly. Nope. France playing good defensive football, keeping them at bay. 
and we are now into the past the eight minutes of allotted time whatever the ref gives is whatever is going to be we're into added time and as it stands Peru going home France 2, Peru 1. As a quick look at the statistics, look at that. Eight shots on target for France. Two in the back of the net. Peru had four, only one went in the back of the net. As for the goal scorers, Griezmann opened it up on the 27 seconds before Carrillo leveled before Griezmann then took France in front. As for yellow cards, nobody on a yellow. And after that result, here's an updated look at the table. Thanks again for watching, please like, share and of course subscribe. Check back each and every day for some hot World Cup content.